Lamb's new Little Lamb attachment gives our customers the ability to crank small socks and other knit goods left to the cranker's imagination. This photo shows our standard LT150 on the right and our Little Lamb attachment on the left. Here's the 36 needle Little Lamb attached and knitting. Let's see just how simple the changeover is from the standard LT150 to the Little Lamb attachment. First, we'll remove the cylinder and camshell assemblies from the LT150. Raise all the needles up or remove them from the cylinder. Your choice. Remove the three latch guards from the camshell and park the camshell as shown here. I'll be lifting the cylinder by these two tangs. Remove the cylinder and carefully place it on a nearby table or shelf for storage. Next remove the three screws that hold the camshell down using the 3 32nd wrench provided with your machine. Place the camshell on a nearby table or shelf for storage. Before installing the little lamb attachment, confirm that the two cylinder stop pins are raised to about 1 8 of an inch above the top surface of your green stitch adjusting ring. Install the cylinder base by lining up the slots on the bottom of the base to the cylinder stop pins. Either pin lines up with either slot. Check that the pins are fully inserted into the cylinder base by holding down the base while pushing up on the two pins from below. Rotate the crank to confirm that it spins freely. Install the camshell base and ring assembly, making sure that the silver plunger is in front, as shown here. Push down on the inner cylinder base that was installed earlier, just to make sure it remains seated properly. Now let's set the camshell base so it rotates by lowering the plungers. Place the little lamb camshell onto the base, making sure that it lines up with the two screws that protrude from the top surface of the camshell base. After installing all three hold down screws lightly, tighten the screws uniformly. Check for free rotation. The cylinder base that was installed earlier has two oversized holes. These holes orient the cylinder by accepting the two screws that protrude from the cylinder's bottom surface. With all needles raised or removed, insert the cylinder and carefully align the screws on the bottom of the cylinder with the oversized holes in the base. Now notice the three half moon shaped notches in the cylinder base. As you insert the 832 button head cylinder mounting screws from underneath, Feel for these notches to locate the holes that are right next to them. Install your latch guards, not shown here, and you're set to go. Thanks for watching, and